I want to go from here. I want all this yellow clay to be gone. So, the side by side heart idea was fine. Like, overall. Um, there was some issue with, like, the execution. So, what were the problem areas that I can think of? The parts were very close together, but that was, like, intentional at first because I was trying to keep the mold narrow. Uh, so, I want to probably do that again on the second pass, but I think... Hmm. So... Let's see, so if I do, so the problems we ran into were with one mold, how were they, they were facing like this, right, they were facing out, like when it came time to, actually we should have probably just done this, right, just put them like in the same, instead of putting them like this, well, they were like this right we should have just put them in the same parallel because then one side would have been the out one side would have been the in so that that's probably where i screwed up that so i'm going to reapproach it from that point of view using the same so i'm going to use these same uh pieces here let's try to remove some of this clay so now like i had already started the mold and i took like an existing mold and i refactored it and I would think I was going to make it like a three-part mold or something. And then I was like, decided I was going to do this um, sock style of mold. And so I tried to just like make that fit that mold. And it turns out like that was, it was just like a mistake from the start. And I just hadn't realized it yet. So now I kind of know that that was a mistake. So what I needed to do is approach that. We'll start this over again, but doing what I just said where I put like both of the parts on the same parallel or the same like plane and then you know one is just because I was trying to have like the pegs both be these sockets both be on one like one part I think they can just be on separate parts and it doesn't matter I was kind of getting in my own head about it so what I'm going to do is um, well, once I finish cleaning this stuff off of here, because I'll, I should be able to use, um, a very similar layout of these, um, because all, so basically all the vents are built, right? I have all the pieces I, I need now. So like, this is like sloppy, but I'll probably just trim this down and I can still use this. Because it's still going to go, like, above this hand, right? We're just going to change where the hand is in the mold instead of it being... Like, the result's going to be the same. Um, as far as, like, what we we're hoping... It, I was hoping to do... i got to punch all this stuff out of here. I shouldn't have packed this with clay. So it's going to be in the same... The same orientation... Um, Except they're going to be like back to back essentially instead of like, well, maybe not back to back. They were back to back. They'll be, um, I don't know, stacked, I guess. This needs to be filled. I probably can actually just cut this off now. I think this is all strong enough. See all this, even like all this uh, stuff here, the the um, the glue like absorbed some of this clay, this yellow clay. So even here, it was like a problem. It just must impede whatever material is like in in this clay. It keeps it like it almost like melts up. I 
like even though this is a, a goof, I I still like the problem solving. I like trying to figure out like, well, what did I do wrong? I mean, not that I want to be making mistakes, right? Nobody wants to make mistakes. But the question is like, when you do make them, what do you do? You know, is it like, does it halt you, disrupt you? Do you try to like figure out what you did wrong? Or like how you could improve? Like, what is that? What did that mistake teach you? Or what can it teach you, I guess? just a lot of small work to do here. clay I can use as filler and it's always fine apparently this yellow clay not so much this stuff just wants to become part of the mold some of this glue build up well, glue clay hybrid or whatever this crap turned into Okay. 
Just fixing some stuff from last time. Good. So let's get the brown, the brown clay, the stuff that doesn't fail us, and then we'll start building this up. So we're gonna do this kind of, uh, this kind of orientation. So we'll have, we're gonna end up having an event that comes around like this. So we're gonna have to reform this, and then, you know, probably the same thing here as before. I guess I could go under like this, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to keep everything on the same parallel. So we'll reform this when it comes time. So we're going to be narrow, so we're going to do like... I can use this as kind of a guide. It's going to be thinner than these two, this two inch wide block. And then... Oh, I guess we could have done that too. Kind of step, space them out. So you know, it's good to kind of like think um, loosely. We could do. I mean, again, we're gonna have to like restructure. So if we go like wider, right? So what's the benefit of going? If we're like this, we could go from say like this wall across and be maybe th four inches wide. And if we do this, we could just do it, lay it down too. So this with like the venting, so we have like the venting out here, right? We're looking at probably four inches, maybe, yeah, probably four inches wide. We do this. And you gotta move them apart for the venting in the center, so we're at the same, the same width. So I think this is probably better. So we'll just do that. So we gotta build up one side, right? Um, okay. So we'll just start by laying the laying the bottom of this. So we'll just we'll draw this down to as a reminder. We're gonna be four inches wide. Do we need a bigger? You know, I could probably just use a bigger piece, right? We need more space. We're gonna put this aside. Let's wipe this thing off real quick to make sure it's the clay is gonna stick to it. and the glue. Okay. Now we'll do one four by two. So one, two, three, four. We just need like a rough, a rough estimate of the size. So then we can just build up in the center. Yeah. Okay, so we will 
don't need that. Won't need that. Won't need that. Will need that. Will need this. Not that. We'll need that. This is going to be cleaned again. Okay. So we'll use these tools the most. Everything else can be set aside. Don't need the brush. Okay. So we'll just start there. to build up like a ridge and then we'll build off of that it's like it's so like kind of mixed into this too just gets mixed in you can't really avoid it So one of these is going to need to be filled from, so I guess it's going to be, instead of like this, it's going to be more like, what, this? So then we're going to fill from the back here, instead of from this side, and this will fill from the top. Okay. So it probably could go a little bit taller and less wide. Yeah. That looks good. Okay, so we're going to plan to fill from the back here. So then this will have to come up a little higher. Because I want it to fill, I want it to meet the part at like a 90 degree angle, not like at an angle like this. Um, it's uh, just easier for like the material flowing toward it to enter at, at the 90 degree angle instead of it's also easier for like removal you'll know exactly see where your part is and there's less to like guess and try to you know reshape because the more you tilt it the bigger that contact point gets So which side are we going to build first? I guess we'll build the side facing me. So we're going to build the back this way. And then this will be the front. 
So I guess we can put some back here. So that's got something to lean against. Or the stuff mixed in. that this can rest on. I'll just try to build up the back and then I can like seal around it later or like bulk up around it so kind of cradle the, the arm that's where I cut off some of the pegs in the last mold It's the same thing, even though it's not going. Even though the peg is going to face out, it'll still need like something to like be housed in. So we still need to build up like the back and surrounding areas of this side. Despite this, the screw up of that mold, I'm still pretty like happy about the torso stuff coming out well because that's going to be much better. Um, they're gonna, I can at least start casting torsos from that and move on with like another part of the project. I'm trying to get ready, so I'm gonna make. A mold that's then like a few like three or four of those torsos to then let me cast multiple copies at one time so the, the one we made this over the last few sessions was essentially a master so I'm gonna make a few casts from that master 
um, do only basic trimming and then use those to create um, a second mold with multiples in it. Unfortunately, this isn't a very fast moving hobby, you know. It's a lot of manual work. So I'm going to build up quite a bit there. start getting this built up. See, I don't want it to turn. I just want it to be like straight like that. Pull out that silicone. I, mean, I really want to be making some new stuff, but I need to get all this preliminary mold stuff done first you know, making more progress than I have in a long time it just still it still takes time do all this all this like clay positive building and just building molds takes time like I tried to I tried to kind of rush that arm mold and well let's we'll see what happened with that so rushing is like, I mean, sometimes you can. Sometimes you can go quickly if you know, like, what you want to do and you have, like... Shit, I already fucked this up. Whatever, I can carve that channel out later. For the, uh... For the injection feed.
find myself like rethinking things like as I'm as I'm building there's so much more I want to do um, I'm really trying to get this my techniques down better because until I do that there's gonna be a a ceiling like I can sculpt cool stuff but if I can't like replicate it accurately or in like a reasonable time frame then you know it's not like really going anywhere because I I won't be able to do more than like those those one-off sculpts I really would like to grow this platform the neo brutes and make them more more not customizable per se I mean yes customizable but like I want them, want them to be more like interchangeable so I need all these things to like work and that just requires like you know a lot of testing and goofing up unfortunately Twitter while I'm working here. If you're on Twitter, feel free to message me or put um, your handle in the comments or in the chat, I guess. So we're going like that. So we have build up a space in between these. Not built up enough, that's why it won't stay in. 
I gotta build up all this back here before it'll like sit more securely. So I guess we'll just do that. So I build this up down here. It's getting a bit more secure. I'm just gonna build up this um, underside a bit. Just looking for all the small pieces in here first. They're just easier to work with. Than chopping up the big pieces. I still gotta do the all this like back and side. Um, it's still too uh, too loose. I remove the silicone as I find it. Flatten this out a bit. It's a little easier to, um, you know, I can kind of just wrap it over the arm and then just press it down into like the surrounding clay. And it holds it in fairly well. keep these like fairly parallel guess I can just build up mm -hmm. I gotta do this back some it's still not very strong
I should probably move this so that I'm not reaching in front of the camera quite as much. You can at least see what I'm doing here. If you're browsing through off the off the site, helps to be able to see what I'm doing, so you know what you're even looking at. Well, this isn't the best best angle. But I also need to be able to see it so I can know what I'm so I can actually make some progress in this thing. Trying to build up this middle part here. Um, I'm not too worried about the back. I'm probably gonna, this is gonna be in a wall, and then I'm gonna have filler back here, and then the top will be leveled off. So it'll be kind of like an, like an L, upside down L. <coughs> so then, because um, we're trying to just define the front side and the top. And then just make this like as narrow as we can. So I just want to cover the back to like adequately hold the arms in place but I don't need to like bulk this way out and, like that's little ways I've been able to improve is um just a minimal clay buildup. up so 
to be able to do like less and less clay each time, which is good. It's uh, it allows me to like build the mold faster, and then just focus on like the areas that are important to the mold, like the the detail I want to capture, less than less so than just you know bulking it up just to just cause. I can pull stuff out of the parts bin, or the scrap bin, to use this filler, and then just pack clay around that, which saves me a lot of time. I kind of want to switch to Spotify. Like, I don't mind this pretzel radio, but at the same time, It's uh, a little repetitive. And I doubt I've listened to like everything on this station. Sometimes I want to just listen to artists that I know. day I need to come back through here and to find the parting line but I won't do that until like I've built up this back because I'm going to be putting pressure on it to carve that out so and it needs to not like want to fall over when I am pushing back on the clay back wall built so that I can start putting the box together to then build build up the sides and create the uh, the top shelf and then I'll define the part line put in the final venting
I definitely need some like some kind of like lower thirds or text thing that tells like what I'm doing because it isn't always like obvious if you're just flipping through the channels and this angle too it may not look too clear anyway username should like be somewhat of an indicator but that doesn't necessarily mean that like means anything to you but I've been trying to make these my own like toy line for a long time and I'm finally like, getting to a point where that's it's like becoming real I mean it's like vintage inspired is like how I'm referring to it because like I'm obviously using like existing stuff as a base so like it's like kind of between like bootlegs and new stuff I mean it's mostly bootlegs but I'm trying to introduce like new things into mine like more joints and um, the idea of like interchangeable parts so that as you as I create more pieces you can swap the parts around and and create like you know different versions almost like like Lego type action figures where they let you build I mean not obviously not gonna be as diverse as Legos but letting you build like different heroes and villains and different characters let you like play in that space that creative space like everyone's got creativity sometimes they don't have a good way to like tap into that and you know maybe something like like these guys can help that help you get there help you find that part of yourself So I think, you know, some artists get, like, annoyed when, you know, the idea is pushed that, like, anyone can be an artist. It's like, but you can, because artists just like you expressing yourself in some way. And it might be painting, it might be, you know, music or whatever. Maybe it's just making custom action figures. That's still you expressing yourself in some way. So I want I wanted to make something that encouraged creativity. It's not, it's not like what I think it is, but I guess if like you get some enjoyment out of them, then it doesn't necessarily matter like what my reason is, like you have your own reason and that's okay, you know, that's, it's good to have things that are just fun, they don't need to be these character defining things like there's no reason that things like have to just be for kids you know like for a long time adults are programmed to like stop having fun and like you have fun through your job and you know the lawnmower that you bought and that's not that's not people having fun that's 
just trying to turn something that's uh, that's work into into the illusion of fun. We should be encouraging people to actually have fun. Play games. Remember what it's like to be a kid. Instead of like... Just thinking about all the things that are... Our responsibility or are wrong in the world. There's room for fun too. Go. I just had yeah, whatever. Just start a new one. You do have to build this up a little bit. This inner part's a little too weak. sure if that interrupted my feet or not um, I just got a phone call and I use my phone as my camera so it's possible that that may have disrupted the video for a moment but it looks like it's still coming through okay basically a square here because um, the venting and or the injection things are going to go on the sides here. I guess I could actually angle it like back. I could do this. Instead of doing them like to the sides, I could do them like this. Hmm. I might make the 
it'll make the mold just a little bit more narrow. I can actually push these like back. Maybe I'll, I don't know, it's hard. I gotta like dig out under that. I feel like it's gonna be too difficult. So I think we're just gonna keep it like this. It's just gonna be wide and thin, whatever. We'll be able to build the back of a box today. Oh, I'd have to build a corner because it needs to like support itself. I already moved this too far this way, so it probably have to be <sighs> what this side? No, this side because I need to build this, and then this can just stand by itself because it's easier to fill in this this far the far outside so we'll focus on on the left here well now it's what your left your left I guess I'm just gonna fill in this back space here before hey what's up it's been pretty quiet today last last couple of streams it's been pretty quiet how's the lag for you still like a minute I guess that's good that seems to be okay it must just be how it is then I turn my delay down slightly but it's probably just the lag between like my stream to twitch and then it like compressing it and restreaming re it to you So earlier I was, um, I, I got, the, um, I pulled a cast from the other mold I made. So this is like both halves, the two torso molds I spent like, what, two weeks on. And so this is, um, this is the test cast from like the latest one. And this is the first test cast. So they like, this is like not done being trimmed yet. And I think these pegs might be slightly too big. But, um, it's like a pretty good fit, like off the, as like just two first tests. So I'm pretty thrilled about that. working on that uh, was for like the arms that I'm doing now and it was the it's the the Wolverine opioid claws so that mold I tried doing um, I poured the silicone for like the first part and it ended up, ended up having like some issues so I was like taking it apart earlier on the stream and so this is this is a so it's like fine, but there's like 
a ton of clay inside there that I don't know that I can clean out and I end up having to pull all the parts out so I'm just gonna like set this aside <laughs> you're very gracious but um, I ended up having to like scrap this mold part like as I got toward the end of like removing all the all the clay and I just don't think it's like I thought I could salvage it but then I realized it'd be I'd spend like days trying to clean out all that clay and it's just not worth it so I might try to salvage it later I don't know how do you know that's not my torso come on you can't see me bro maybe I got like ripped over quarantine Yeah, it, it happens. I'm not too upset about, like, the setback. It's annoying, but I realized, like, what I could have done better, so I'm just going to do that now. Yeah, I'm actually lifting the whole desert. I just get, like, uh, a coyote in one hand, and then what else lives in the desert that's big? I don't know. I just, like, benching coyotes all day. So what's the uh, what's the spillover from the election look like out your way? Has it been pretty quiet? Other than like the armed clowns down at uh, the voting center on election day, I guess it's been pretty quiet here. I know there's supposed to be like some dumb MAGA march on Saturday. Is it Saturday, I think, in DC? I don't know. Oh yeah, there was some here too. There was definitely, I passed, I had to run some errands that day, or a couple days ago, and there were definitely people like out honking and, you know, waving flags and whatnot. So it was pretty nice to see like, something positive for a change and you know kind of reclaiming the flag from all the like cosplay triots and all the goons who are constantly trying to stir up trouble Still trying to, yeah, same. Um, I, I feel like we will see like a decrease in in that craziness. I guess it just depends on the rest of the right. I don't think there's there are really too many people on the right that have like the kind of um, insight the crazies power that Great Pumpkin has. So it'll probably get like quieter. I've seen a lot of people are um, escaping to parlor so they can not be judged for their free speech of 
paid and whatnot. like good news about that possible vaccine that's coming out for like the covids now like when we're gonna see it and how much it's gonna cost is something else yeah it is an unfortunate time that like there's just so much uh encouragement of like anti-election anti-intellectualism which has you know been like an ongoing problem I mean, I'm, I know I definitely have lost, like, some friendships or uh, broken ties with people over the last four years. And sure, like, some of that's my fault. I get pretty inflammatory on the Facebooks. But uh, I just can't, like, tolerate all the violence on the right like I'm like unsure even about some of my like my immediate family which is like unsettling people I thought were you know probably like fairly moderate at least and then to get like these indications that well maybe they're a little more right-leaning than I thought or had hoped I guess which is strange because we came from like you know a blue-collar family So to see people that are like blue collar switching to Republicanism or Trumpism seems like it just doesn't make sense to me. Like they've always been against the the blue collar worker. Oops. Actually that's not well, maybe it is. Don't make no sense. How far out is that going to go? No. Don't make no sense. actually seen me make anything yet you've just seen like the aftermath and this all this like clay stuff this unfortunately is like the slowest part of like all this 
and the part I probably do the most. If I don't make no molds, I can't cast no stuffs. So, gotta make them molds. That's right. Start pushing coyotes together or benching clay. I don't know. I had to spend this might be TMI, but I had to spend all of yesterday and Monday. So, Monday, I, I was I spent prepping for a, a uh, examination of my colon. So, I was doing that all yesterday, the actual procedure. So, I'm like, this is like my first day back to like normal behavior. Everything was good though, so that's good news. It's always good to know you're not dying of, you know, uh, cancer. Yeah, I unfortunately have a family history. My dad had it, so I gotta be vigilant. So far, so good. <laughs> nice. That's, uh, it feels like the kind of thing you, you know, you want to celebrate after you're done. If you, like, get the all clear. Just, uh, it feels good to, you know, know you're at least safe from that for now. Stuff just creeps up on you. And all of a sudden, you know... You're like staring down the barrel and that's nobody wants to be there. What are your other, um, do you have any other go-tos on Twitch? Any accounts you like to... Ah, uh, okay. I was thinking it was an impromptu, like, hey, this show is tonight, like, let's go to this because I got the clear. I'm not sure if you're saying your friend did or did not have the clear, but they told you they did, so I guess you gotta believe them, right? to build up this box so let's plug in the old heat gun glue gun 
goo gun. The old goo gun. Yeah, but I was saying, do you have any, like, uh, what are your go-tos on Twitch? Do you have people you watch regularly, or you just kind of flip around and, and like, okay. I should have assumed that LSV was on here. It's got to be all arena stuff, right? I guess it, I guess it could be MTGO as well. I thought about like doing um I have like decks I'm working on for Commander and I've thought about maybe on like a Saturday just kind of like randomly streaming like me building a deck or tweaking a deck and then like goldfishing it i don't know if there's any like you know interest in that but it's just a thing i'd be doing and i'm just so i thought like well i could just stream this and you know kind of just talk about like what my ideas are for the deck and what it's trying to do and all that and i just like mostly build from stuff i have i don't really buy a whole lot like for a new deck. Because, like, now that I'm set up, it's easier to, it's easier to, like, kind of stream, like, not randomly, but, and I feel like if I was going to do something like uh, MTG stuff, it would have to be on, like, one of the, the off days, one of the days I'm not doing this, so that it doesn't, like, not that it, not that I have, like, a, people care about my schedule, but, you know, trying to keep them like separated if I was going to do that. I thought about like trying to stream some games when I'm playing on online. Um, I don't really have like the setup for it right now and I know I'd have to get like permission from everyone else. But paper is like I feel like paper's different than MTGO, because MTGO, like, maybe you've got a Discord chat on or whatever, a voice chat, and if you're playing with people you know, if you're just playing with, like, randos, I don't, I doubt it's, like, the kind of thing that I would want to, like, watch. I don't know. I guess, maybe. It depends on, like, the, the person, right? I haven't, I haven't played limited in any form since like pre-pandemic. The last time I played was was uh, someone's commander cube that they built. So you like draft your commander and um, then draft your whole deck. It was pretty fun. Cube's probably the second format I like next to commander. Set draft, I'm, I don't know. I'm not really into it. I always do really bad. Yeah, I guess that's true. I hadn't really thought about, like, the interaction with the viewer um, during a game. I'm usually trying to keep people that are playing, like, focused. And people, like, step away and stuff and, you know, I'm frequently asking if someone's muted 
So it might not actually be that great of an experience for like a viewer. It's definitely tough too because like some games I feel like they start out well and then they kind of take a turn where one or two people would like stall out and then it kind of turns into like this 1v1 game inside of a four player game. That happened to me like this past week when I was playing. It ended up being like me and this other guy kind of like going at it and the other two had kind of like fallen short on resources so they were kind of like just watching the watching everything play out so that like wouldn't be that great if someone's like watching either so trying to like keep our power level match is always important waiting for this glue gun to heat up so I can put this back corner of this box together because I want to try to bulk this in kind of fast. I should have started earlier but I wasn't sure how far I was going to get because it could have been ready by now. Oh well, I'll just uh, bulk up this front side. Just pushing clay around, you know? corners together if I could get I don't know if I can get this port today I have to be I gotta sign off at like a little bit before six because my partner needs to use this shared space shared office space for her um she has a review session with her students so I'm not allowed to be in here I get the boot at, at six So I'm just, let's see how much I can get done before then. to remake this mold today but now I know what not to do don't worry I still got I still got ghetto Wolverine right there ready for you 
Not ghetto Wolverine. Opioid Wolverine. Was it, uh... It was, uh... Weapon OP8. <laughs> I need a cat cam in general. Like, let's be honest. I need a happy cam. So that people can watch happy. Roaming around the apartment. Fighting with uh, Dirt Devil. Speaking of Wolverine, I, I haven't like read I haven't read like a Marvel comic book in Jesus probably I I don't I don't know a very long time. I'm, of the stuff I've I've read recently, it's I guess like Saga is is uh image so that's like kind of a big label. Saga is pretty good. I just picked up um, a trade paperback of some sci-fi dystopian series. I guess it's a series because it says Omnibus Volume 1 uh, called The Massive. And I don't know what it's about yet. It's some, like I said, dystopian future cyberpunk-ish looking thing. And I think The Massive is a ship. Like a, maybe it's a naval ship. I'm not really sure. But it looks pretty cool. I picked it up at a used bookstore recently for like 10 bucks. I feel like I should get back into like reading just in general. I don't definitely don't read enough. I've, I've always struggled with like novels. I've only read a, a few novels in my adult life. There's some good comics. It just depends, like, what you're into. I I don't really like superhero comics. Um, I kind of never really did. So I, I've been drawn more to, like, indie stuff. Uh... There's a lot of good stuff at Dark Horse. Um, DC's Vertigo line is like typically non-superhero stuff, so it's usually pretty good. Uh, Preacher is good. Well, I've only seen the show. I haven't read the series. Um, the show was good. I know it's not the same as the the series, but um, it's pretty good. I read the first trade of Lucifer which is different from the show as well but it was what I read was good okay I guess this is hot enough now Welders joint.
We just started um, a show on HBO called uh, Lovecraft Country. It's pretty good so far. If you're into that sort of thing. Um, it's definitely got, it's definitely like horror, suspense, drama. I do enjoy me some sci-fi cosmic horror. It's just the side I want. This side, this side, this side. Yeah, I liked Preacher a lot. Um, I liked uh, James Gilgan. He was uh, Cassidy. I saw him first in um, Misfits, which is like a BBC show. It's like kind of a a take on like superheroes in a way, but it's more like uh, just people with powers more so than superheroes. Um, I haven't watched it again, so I'm not sure how well it holds up from, like, the mid-2000s. But he's from that. He's been in a number of movies. He was in, um, Lockout. Uh, Lovecraft Country, we're only two episodes in. We just started it a couple nights ago. But I like it so far. Pretty good. Have you seen Lovecraft Country, or are you just interested? Hey, what's up? How's it going? The boys are back in town. Just redoing this opioid wolverine mold. Is it, uh, goofed on me? Okay, I I wasn't sure what was going to happen after episode 2 because it seemed like that storyline ended. But I guess, like, if you base it kind of off Lovecraft Country, it's, uh, it is, like, Lovecraft stuff that an is an anthology, so I guess, like, that makes sense. To, like, so I'm interested to see where it goes. Yeah, I just... Yeah, we just started it, so I'm, like, still pretty in the dark about where it's going. Let's see, what can I pull out of my scrap bin? Oh, so this is the torso mold, or the torso cast from the, the mold I was working on before. So now I've got, like, complete... This is, like, not done. I need to finish sanding it down and stuff. But, um, just on, like, a preliminary, like, uh trial it like works pretty well it'll fit better once I trim it down so I'm pretty hyped about that to get to cover like stuff that I went on earlier oh that's uh very meta based on the book based on the movie it's based on the book about the movie <laughs>
inconvenient. That's cool. I um I have like a, an ebook of the collected Lovecraft and I haven't finished it cuz it's, you know, a tome. Um so I haven't gotten to anything where I've cuz the sugar rafts were like pretty uh pretty crazy or whatever they were called the the creatures in like episodes 1 and 2. Those things were wild. You mock you mocking my coyote benching strength here? So here in the desert, we bench coyotes and push clay around for fun. the damn back off again. Oh, it's already coming off. Son of a bitch. Look at that shit. What the fuck? Good. Do that. I don't like spoilers. I like barely even watch trailers anymore because they're so they're so frequent about spoiling the story. It's basically because I'm trying to jam this thing down in here when I shouldn't. I should just like leave it set um, or just find smaller pieces. I'm trying to just fill this back space so I can use less clay to like fill up, get the top leveled. And when I rush, I make mistakes. So the uh, the opioid wolverine mold that this was so this is like what happened so I ended up pouring all the silicone and I tried to scrape all the clay out but then it like wouldn't come out so then it's like all kind of just stuck all over so I ended up just pulling out all the parts and I might try to salvage this I don't know I feel like it's a lost cause I spent like 45 minutes trying to get all the clay out and just give up on it. So now I'm just trying to um, build this like kind of fast without using up a ton of clay. So I'm just looking for ways to fill this back space. Yeah, I could try that. 
this is probably good. If I don't like press down on it too much, it should be fine. Let's see if I can find a smaller piece to stick down in that corner. No, too small. I get like too worried about it being perfect, you know, and then it's just like it becomes a mess. This is probably fine if I just don't put too much pressure on it. So I really just want enough to like flatten up, put a flat layer of clay up here. Um, and then I'm going to add all the venting and whatnot. So this is just like intermediary stuff. I'm trying to be a little less uh a little less perfectionist each time so that I can actually like make a little bit faster progress on this stuff. I got so many molds I gotta make. I can't ha I can't spend like a week on every one of them. I let that torso one slide because it's like the torso, so it's kind of important. dinner duty tonight so I'll be doing that as soon as I hop off here at, at six all right see you man thanks for hanging out even for a little bit yeah my partner needs the space at six for her um, uh, review session with her students so I'll have to sign off like a little bit before six kind of sucks that I'm remaking this mold but the um the torso is coming out good is like pretty pretty big so it's easy to like let go of the mistake I made on this mold and you know focus on the the, the win instead of the, the failure just learn what I did wrong and try to do it better That's cool, man. I mean, you made time to jump to jump on, and that's that's awesome. How's your uh, how's your project going? You able to make any progress on it, or are you like still buried under work? <laughs> yeah I like realized a few things I had, I did wrong so I'm trying to not do them again with this mold <laughs> apparently uh 
CA glue and uh, silicone don't literally don't mix unless uh, the CA glue is completely dry. Even though it looks dry, apparently it's not. Ah, uh, that sucks. I mean, I guess the upside is like, you know, you got money rolling in and that helps at least pay for life. I haven't had anything, um, I haven't had anything for sale since that first wave. That's why I'm trying to like make some decent progress on these so I can get another wave up in the, sh in the shop. So this is like my, my entire job. <laughs> Other than my house husbandly duties. Yeah, I like thought it looked dry. I mean, it, it had sat for like 45 minutes and it seemed dry, but it just left uh, the silicone that touched it just stayed like slimy. Ah, uh, well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I was hoping I could get, like, this second wave of uh, molds done a little sooner than I'm doing them now, but... Ugh, that's the worst. The, the clients you want to fire. I really wanted to get into like sculpting the more new stuff, but my other batch of molds, the first batch, they just like weren't ready for round two. So, but this, the ones I, I just made should be better. And then this is going to be like, um, I'm going to turn these into like interchangeable hands. And then it'll just give me a second set of like arms that I've got that are slightly different. Ugh. Yeah, I graphic design, I I like it, but it never really like gelled with me. It was it always felt like a stand-in for stuff I wanted to be doing. Which is like more actual art. Not that, you know, design's not art, but it's still like not art in the truest sense. This is actually does need to go up quite a bit. Yep. I keep thinking I need to have it like low, but it's not. It needs to cover the, be higher than the hands. Yeah, I feel like the only times I've enjoyed graphic design were like when I was doing it for myself. Like for this stuff, I found out that I actually liked it a lot more than I thought I did. But then it's like fun design, you know? So it's different than doing it for like someone else.
Yeah, that's always bull. And they're still not happy with those things and want to change that 50 times. They hire you to be the designer, but then they want to design it themselves over your shoulder. Yeah, it's bull. Shit, man, what the fuck? Like the stuff just doesn't really stick to this, but it's also really fucking annoying. Definitely pushing back too hard on it. Speed. Bring it way out. I should be just doing a the foam core base too. I don't know why I'm so stubborn about using the acrylic. I think it's just because I can see through it. So I can like put these marks down and stuff, but I mean they're really not that important. I could just measure it. What's MDF? I'm just probably not familiar with that term or abbreviation. It's definitely because I'm pushing back against this thing when I shouldn't be, and I know I shouldn't be. I gotta just push down only. But then because I'm trying to, like, pack at it, you know, it's gonna inadvertently push, like, back, too. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll just use foam core on the next one instead of, like, the acrylic. It will bond to the acrylic, but, like, only if it's like totally, totally clean, and sometimes it's not. So it like, yeah, having it break like two times, two or three times, it's definitely like just being too problematic. I'll have to switch to foam core. I think I worry about the foam core like crushing, but it's probably fine. Okay. Yeah, I can look for some of that. Um, 
That's, yeah, that would be a better. Where do you buy it? Online, local? Okay. Yeah, I can, um, I can run out there tomorrow after my, uh, I got another doctor's appointment. God damn it. This is really pissing me off. Stuff was fine for the longest time, but like now it doesn't want to grip anymore. I'll make a note of that and look for it tomorrow. Because it does sound like what I need. A gripping better would be already a huge improvement. Oh, that's a good idea. There's got to be. Yeah, I'll look on uh, Google Maps or whatever and see if I can find any locals. Yeah, they got to have scrap left over. Those are good tips, man. Thanks. I honestly didn't even know about the fi the fiber board. Yeah, I'm always trying to find better materials, and sometimes I just don't know they exist, so I appreciate suggestions like that. sense it's 
thing's probably going to snap off here at least one more time. I can feel it! Just to piss me off. chopping this stuff up. I don't even know why I'm for trying to form it. It's stupid. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you're uh you're gonna win that one. It's gonna if it's gonna tilt me it'll happen. The odds are probably pretty good. Can hear a crackling. some point. Oh, look at that shit. So close. doesn't really help when I'm building vertically either as opposed to this laying flat but because I need this to be vertically oriented it's just easier to do it this way even if it is a pain at times it's easier but it's harder feeling that previous mold was going to be weirdly problematic. I like rushed the the design of it when I should have stepped back and huh, yeah that's a good idea. Yeah it's not level but I guess it like can't hurt right? It's mostly like because I need I just need to see it, and then I'm trying to keep it visible for the camera, so I'm... I just gotta not, like, press down on it, because this is really just bulk filler. It doesn't even need to be, like, that tightly packed. I 
really just like enough to keep it together. So I gotta build it up like past the hands, the top of the hands, and so probably like another inch roughly. So really should just focus on the back part of the hands, I guess. feel like I'm I'm a bastion of knowledge for this uh, hobby I'm definitely like figuring it out as I go probably why I've been so like unsure and hesitant about like doing a stream or doing videos because I don't necessarily feel like I know what I'm doing enough to be telling other people how to how to like do it but of course it's fucking separated Yeah, the main reason I like the I like the acrylic, at least in the past, was that I could see through it, so I could kind of um, assess stuff. But I guess I don't really need that as much as I used to. like that's the right way to do it right you just like hire a factory to do it I don't have ten thousand dollars for for that stuff though or whatever it would cost definitely don't think I have the fan base to like even sell enough units as it would cost to get them made Those are future me problems, maybe. Maybe future me? I don't know. I figure if I get to the point where I need to hire a factory to keep up, then that's a good problem. Yeah, I could see that. Because what most of your most of your cost comes from like getting the molds made, right? Because you're carving them out of like aluminum or steel or whatever. And I assume everyone's every like major manufacturer is doing all their design in 3D, so there's no like laser scanning a sculpt anymore. That's it, right? I've like had people ask me, oh, why don't you like 3D sculpt or whatever, or 3D print those? And I'm like, well, that's also like, gets me back in front of a screen, which is where I'm trying to not be. I'm 
and I guess I'm technically in front of a screen now, but it's not like, you know, the main focus. I like enjoy the working with my hands part even when it screws up and makes me want to flip the table. Yeah, I've never been like lucky with the money, so I've always figured I'd be DIY in anything I wanted to do. Yep. Yeah, I started customizing stuff like probably in my late teens. I did that for a long time. Um, I even, uh, me and another friend even split like admission at some local-ish Comic Cons. Like these are small town cons, you know. And put up like a table in Artist Alley or whatever. And I sold like, you know, my customs on their, uh, their fake cards. And, and this was like in the late nineties. I often wonder sometimes what happened to those, if they're still in someone's collection or if they like tossed them. So I remember I made like a, an Obar's Crow, which was decent. And it was like modeled after the comic. Some of the other ones I don't even remember anymore. But yeah, I often wonder what happened to, the, to those. Uh, I gotta start wrapping up my partner's office hours are going to start soon and she wants to use this space so I got to clear out I'm going to try to keep working on this tomorrow see if I can get caught up on it and get at least this first half in silicone so I can start getting some casts out of it and making new parts. Because these are going to be, I'm going to gliosify these hands so they'll fit onto the arms from the, pre the first run. So I just figured I'll just mold the whole arm instead of just doing the hands. It's a review session. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess they have an exam coming up, so they have like, um, I, I don't know if it's a, a lead session, I mean it must be, because she also has like time, some other review time where she's just like available if they have questions, so I'm not sure if this is that or if it's like a lead review. How, like, off topic though, how are, like, um, the levels and whatnot? I got a, I got a USB sound card and I pulled out an old, like, cheap shotgun mic that I have. So I've got that set up and I took off a lot of the audio filters and put them back, like, one by one. So I should have, I have one that sets, like, the max, um, the max decibel 
So if I like drop something or whatever, it doesn't, you know, pop your ears out. And then how's it like compared to the music? Good. Yeah, I spent a lot of time on, I think it was Sunday, doing a lot of test recordings, trying, I would like start from nothing and then add on something and um, do some like, change some settings, record it again to figure out and then listen to the playback to see like what it was sounding like. And it seemed like it was in a good spot when I left it on Sunday. So this is like where it was. But if it sounds good on your end, then that's that means it's a an improvement. All right, I think I'm gonna call it there so I don't get scolded for being here over time. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna work on this thing tomorrow, hopefully, and maybe by Thursday, this thing will be more in a complete state. I'm gonna start pulling casts from it, hopefully. So, uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for jumping on and chatting for a while. Thanks for the tip on the fiber board. I'm definitely going to investigate that tomorrow. That should uh, make things a lot easier. Alright. Awesome. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.